What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking about my experience playing the game Marauders, which is currently in its closed alpha test until May 9th. If you're not interested in a review or an opinion piece or my thoughts and impressions and you just want to see raw gameplay, I already have a video featuring gameplay from my live stream here on YouTube and more will be uploaded here as well. So now let's talk a little bit about what Marauders actually is. This game is Tarkov in space, and I know that's going to get overused, but I think it's the best comparison. It's very much like the cycle as well, but it does authentically happen in space. There is no planets. That means that you do fly your own spaceship. You can upgrade to better and bigger spaceships. You can steal them from the AI, and you can even mod some of them. You can fly with a team of four as well if you want to deploy as a crew. And if you're fighting other players and your ship gets damaged, you can repair it using fire extinguishers that are on the ships. But even cooler, you can escape via a breach pod and board your enemy ship and get into an FPS CQB combat with them and fight to steal their ship. It is a very unique and cool concept. And this pre-alpha test phase, which will be ending on May 9th, is basically a proof of concept that this idea does work and it's also pretty fucking cool. In addition to fighting other players' ships and fighting AI ships, there's also points of interest that are in each map. Usually it's a spaceport or a mining facility where you can go and land safely. Once you're inside the landing zone, other players don't have the ability to board your ship unless the airlock opens. So once you land on the spaceport, you go down to your uh, computer, unlock your airlock, and you're basically in a raid like Escape for Tarkov, like the factory or something, where it's a really tight CQB area where other AI are roaming around that are going to try to kill you just like scavengers, and other players are going to be there as well. There's loot boxes and things to collect, there's missions to complete and places to explore, and once you're done of like looting the area or your oxygen almost runs out, you can go back to your airlock board your ship and go to an extraction point very similar to other games in the genre. So of course, you're probably wondering what happens when you get all of your loot. Well, you can safely secure it in a stash very similar to games like The Cycle and Escape from Tarkov at the starting screen. You also have the ability to manage your loadout, change your character's appearance, you can trade, but here's the kicker. You can only trade with one person at a time, and it's the person that is currently in your hangar, so you don't have the ability to buy everything all at once, and each trader isn't going to have a big amount of supplies. It's going to be quite random and pretty limited, so there's a huge emphasis of actually going into the matches to collect your pieces of equipment, or you do have the ability to craft some, but not all of the items in the world. Things like bigger backpacks, certain ammunitions, basic weapons, but the big one, larger ships. And you can craft those ships with loot that you find in the raids that you play and safely extract. Now, unlike games like The Cycle and Escape for Tarkov, Marauders does not feature a secured container. That's right, no secured container. If you die with your stuff, you lose it all. And you do have a basic ship that's always going to be there. It's called the Rust Bucket. And this thing doesn't really have much to offer. It doesn't have a storage capacity. It's got pretty basic weaponry, but it does have enough to get the job done into the raid so you can actually fight other players. But really bare bones stuff here. And just like there's no secured container, there's also no insurance as well. Once you're in the raid and you die, there's no getting it back. No one's going to be paying you. There's going to be no handouts of any kind. And that might be just a tip of the hat of the types of players that Marauders is trying to attract. Those hardcore tactical FPS survival players that enjoy hints of space. So since the game is pretty unforgiving, you have to find ways of making money. Now you can accept contracts which are very similar to games like The Cycle and Escape from Tarkov, missions like Go Kill 8 Scavengers, Go Destroy 8 Mines that are floating around the spaceport, deploy into the spaceport and review a document that's going to be sitting on a table. Very similar and familiar mission sequences. And by doing that, you will get a payout. And what's interesting is you are only given a certain amount of missions that you can complete each day. Instead of doing like traders that provide you a like campaign of missions, it is already a daily mission cycle right out the gate. 
Whenever you complete these missions, you're gonna be earning reputations with the traders that are gonna be deploying into your hangar. Based off of the reputations, you will get a cash discount from the items that they are gonna be providing you. And in addition to missions, simply selling items directly to those traders is a good way of making money. You can actually sell players um, like captain's logs. They're basically dog tags. You can loot scavengers in the actual matches themselves that might have silver and bronze coins. Or you can just sell the weapons and equipment directly to the traders and pretty much everything that you can find can be sold. Now, I'm sure that you've probably already noticed that there is heavy World War II vibes. I think the general idea is World War II just never ended. So there's going to be lots of World War II style weaponry used in this game. That being said, though, there are weapons that are outside of World War II. The M16 is in this game. A version of a AK-74 of some sort or an AKS is also here. And experimental automatic shotguns and other futuristic style of weapons flamethrowers you can find in the matches themselves although there still is that heavy world war ii emphasis there is more than that i don't think they're going super sci-fi i feel like they're going more steampunk 1950 with it now unfortunately not all the weapons that are in the game are currently moddable but there are some that do have weapon mods especially suppressors certain stocks and extended magazines but don't expect the level of weapon customization just yet that you'd get in games like the cycle or even escape from tarkov escape for tarkov especially and the ammunition seems to be pretty basic right now standard ammunitions without any variants so don't be expecting like hollow points or armor piercing rounds it's like 32 acp 9 mil 10 mil things like that Re very recognizable and very simple styles of ammunition currently i don't know if they have any plans on expanding that but that is just what you can be expecting now what i've noticed while playing marauders for a short period of time right now mind you i this might change down the road but there is a massive emphasis on cqb combat not mid to long range combat and that kind of makes sense you're on spaceships you're on spaceports and mining facilities where spaces are really tight so those types of weapons are not going to be excelling very much there's not a whole lot of bolt actions in fact, the only bolt action that I've actually ran across is a sidearm Oberez that has a pistol grip. It still, it still shoots 7.60 by 54R, so it hits really hard, like one or two taps the enemies. But that's really the only type of bolt action that I've found. There's a big emphasis on SMG and shotgun play, as well as pistol running for budgets. So those are the types of weapons that you can expect to run into and use when you first start the game. Now there's also a variety of different AI that you can run into. They're not just all simple scavengers. There's some form of SAS enemy. I have yet to run into them, but they are listed. There's commandos and commando majors. They fly larger ships and there's quite a bit of them and their aimbot is pretty intense. So you definitely don't want to be fucking around. However, the commandos do drop really good pieces of gear and body armor it's actually probably one of the best ways to get some of the higher tier body armor by raiding those ships by breaching those ships so it's actually really interesting i've yet to see any enemies on the spaceports and the mining facilities that are greater than just raiders raiders are like your scavengers they have pistols and smgs busted down equipment they're not a big threat but they're there for like audio notifications for other players that are also going to be raiding similar areas so they can hear what's going on and potentially push you for pvp it seems like those types of ais they're built for that where the commandos you can't you got to be on your game whenever you're fighting them they're very similar to like rogues and raiders from tarkov now that you have a better understanding of what marauders actually is now you're probably asking the question is it a good game so i think the best thing about marauders as a video game is the idea and the spaceship breaching and fighting other players on their ships and breaching ai ships as well the whole process of being in your ship and fighting running away while your ship is busted and trying to get out before you die or strategically breaching other player ships and killing them whenever they're piloting their own and trying to fight back is easily the coolest part of the entire game 
Whenever you're on the spaceports fighting regular raiders and players, it's just like every other game that is similar to Escape from Tarkov that does things in a very similar way, but just not nearly as well. It's not nearly as refined. You're not getting better audio. You're not getting better gunplay. You're not getting better interactions with AI or PVP. It's very preliminary stuff, including the looting, the looting in the UI, how you heal by eating food and using bandages, and also looting the enemies and managing your inventory space while you're in the matches is all stuff that needs to be greatly improved. But it's important to remember it is an alpha, but these are definitely not selling points for the game. Now, that being said, the PVP fights that I did get into and obviously won were pretty fun at times, especially whenever I was able to sneak around a ship and shoot somebody in the back whenever they thought the ship was clear and they're trying to fly it away. There's certainly some refinement there as well because if you're flying the ship, you are unable to hear the footsteps from players around you. The audio is completely cut off, so there's a lot of refinement that needs to happen. Now thankfully, in order to play Marauders right now, you don't have to spend an outrageous amount of money. It's just $27 on their website. Whenever you buy it, you get access to a Steam key, you add it to your Steam library, and you can play the alpha test. It's only available until May 9th, but by buying the key, you do have full access to the game and for all the tests from here on out as well. So if you are interested in a sci-fi steampunk Tarkov-like game, this is the video game to keep your eye on. Now, I'm gonna see it in the comments because I seen it on Twitch. Is this the Tarkov killer? Everyone always asks whenever there's a new MMO, is it the World of Warcraft killer? I think that's a weird outlook on video games in general, but no, certainly not. Like games like The Hunt Showdown, Cycle, Frontier, Escape for Tarkov are leagues, leagues ahead of Marauders right now. And it makes sense. It is a alpha test for the game. There's a long road ahead. So, but if you're interested in a steampunk sci-fi style game in this genre, this is the one that you want to keep your eye on. So the ball is certainly in the Marauders developers court. There's a lot of attention on this game right now. Lots of momentum with people checking it out. Anytime you have a Tarkov-esque game that gets released when Tarkov is waiting for a fresh patch and a wipe, it's going to explode on Twitch and people are going to be checking it out. So the interest level is at an all time high. So we'll have to wait and see what the devs actually do with that momentum now and into the future. Let me know what you guys think of Marauders in the comment section below. I will be playing it on my Twitch channel up until May 9th, so definitely tune in. Or if you missed a stream and you wanted to watch long, unedited content, there will be a link to that in the description box below. I stream Monday through Friday starting at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And subscribe here on YouTube for more Marauder videos. I will be uploading gameplay uncommentated gameplay for my live stream so you can see what full raids actually look like in the pvp of the game too so definitely keep your eye out for that and i'll see you guys in the next video